Ah, New Zealand. Our barbaric neighbours from just over the ditch. They say when the easterly wind blows, you can smell the bullshit from here. <laughs> At the moment, it seems like all of Australia is in the grip of warrior's fever. And everyone who's anyone is putting the beard on. <laughs> G'day, I'm Red Dragon, eh? And today I plan to showcase the foremost excellent moments in New Zealand rugby league history. Ah, yeah, Red Dragon's choicest ever moments in Kiwi league history. <laughs> Number one, the miracle of Olympic Park. With only minutes left on the clock and the sheep shaggers facing certain elimination, the men from Auckland pull off the arsiest play in 2008 and beat the defending premiers from Melbourne Storm to keep their finals hopes alive. Number two, sensational September. In a sudden death final with time ticking away, the mutton munchers look gone for all money again. But then in what can only be described as the flukiest piece of bullshit in league history, the Warriors call for miracle and celebrate like a Queenstown farmer on the eve of sheep shearing season. <laughs> Number three, <laughs> me! Oh, I've done my cocktail brew. Oh. <laughs> journey to Olympic Park looks about as doomed as the second single from Dave Dobbin and the Herbs. 5'8", Michael the half-wit, still pissed for the night before, nearly blows it. The game, that is. Oh, it's my pelvis. Oh. Number four, and still the greatest moment in New Zealand rugby league history. Oh! With the code in New Zealand in constant competition with the juggernaut All Blacks, arguably the game's greatest icon steps in and gives the game over there an enormous boost of credibility. Tomorrow night It's been a while since I've heard a band 